Welcome to Unit 8, Health Data Science and Trends in Business Intelligence and Analytics. It's hard to believe we've already reached the end of this course. In our final unit, you'll have the opportunity to think about all that we've read and discussed related to transforming healthcare and explore some of the future trends and directions. I've included a number of videos that convey the innovation and energy present in healthcare technology today. These are meant to expose you to the work that's being done and going on in some various areas in business intelligence and predictive analytics. Many of the videos are short, but they do provide an overview of some of the key areas we've touched on throughout this course, such as big data, consumerism, data visualization, personalized medicine, and the internet of things. The UIC Health Informatics Program includes course offerings in the area of data science, specifically as it applies to healthcare. There are other programs on campus and other departments that also teach data science, but don't necessarily apply it to healthcare. So this course that you're taking now is a portal course for more advanced courses in the health data science courses. Because of this, we're using this final unit, not only to look at trends, but also to expose you to some of the foundational concepts about data science. You may find that you're interested in health data science and wanna take more courses in this area. You may decide you even want the concentration that we offer within the Masters of Science degree. You may find that you're interested in health data science uh, in new areas that you never even thought of before you started taking this course. So since you can think of health data science as a kind of a trend, you may also choose to write your DQ post this week on data science. It certainly is a future direction for health informatics. To expose you to data science, we will do something a little different this week uh, you will complete a tutorial on an introduction to data science. This is a short course offered through LinkedIn Learning. As a student at UIC, you have access to all the LinkedIn courses free of charge. And I encourage you to explore after this class and see if there are some others that you might be interested in taking on your own. The tutorial that we'll use this week has 10 modules, all of which take three hours to watch. For our purposes, we will only cover six of these modules. So please check the instructions for your unit eight assignment in Blackboard to see which modules we will cover. You're certainly welcome to complete all of the modules. And if you're interested, I would recommend it to anyone who has an interest in further study of health data science. Our goal for this week is to provide awareness of what data science is and how it's related to health informatics. The modules we will use cover topics such as data science as a field of study, ethical issues in data science, data sources that are available, exploring data both graphically and through using statistics, and communicating with data. So we'll touch on interpretability and presenting actionable insights as we communicate about our data. After you've watched the modules, you will complete a short 10 question knowledge assessment in Blackboard. To prepare for the assessment, pay close attention to the knowledge check that you'll see at the end of every module. So to summarize, your assignment this week will be to complete the assigned readings and videos, including the introduction to data science tutorial, complete the knowledge assessment, post your DQ response on one trend of your choice, and you may choose to use health data science as your DQ trend. You'll participate in an abbreviated discussion this week. Uh, you'll review the posts of your group and add two substantive comments. There's no required word count for your two comments. Uh, this will allow you to review what others in the group 
think about future directions and to reflect on the topic further and then articulate your thoughts. But we will not have a full ongoing discussion for two days this final week. In the readings, you'll see that I've posted a document with other LinkedIn courses that we recommend to give you more background in health data science, some recommended learning. These courses begin to provide you with knowledge and skills that are key to working in health informatics today and are very much in demand with employers in today's job market. I'm also posting a link to a video recorded by some of us in the faculty for use in advising students as they're moving on into careers in health data science. In the video, we discuss questions we often get from students about their careers, how they should prepare for interviews, um, and we share our perspectives having worked in the field for a number of years. So for your final week in this course, I hope you will enjoy looking into the future and where health informa informatics is headed. <laughs>